Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with day three of the Righteous Fire Juggernaut and kind of what it is that I'm doing. Uh, I'll do my best to try to say the correct terms this time. I believe in one of the previous videos I said Expedition or Betrayal, but I swapped them around. I do that a lot, unfortunately. Uh, right. <clears throat> so before we get started, I just wanted to peek and show you guys my atlas. Uh, so essentially right now, um, Harbi is kind of my filler. I'm kind of testing it out, but I am essentially an Expedition main. Expedition is how I'm making pretty much all of my currency. Uh, on top of Expedition, I have just allocated Intelligence Gathering now to do a little bit of Katarina. And I have Conqueror map drops allocated along with Remnants of the Past because I am kind of just chaining maps. Um, and then um, the most toys over here I also have locate, or allocated because I am trying out the maybe in 10 ways just for kind of you know just to see if i get any awakened gems out of them i did get actually pretty lucky i dropped an awakened uh, uh awakened burning out of one uh, i bought this awakened ink aoe for like two divines it was pretty expensive uh yeah just to kind of cover my gear so i have a plus one fire with no multi so this weapon is gonna have to go soon uh that's pretty much oh hey we got a quick sale real fast guys um yeah, so also uh, made made 2.5 Divines because we ran a Vol Temple map. And if you guys know anything about Vol Temple, it poops out a bunch of uh, corrupted uniques that oftentimes do have an implicit. Uh, so that was 2.5 Divines for a pure RNG. So that's pretty much my Legacy of Fury. Thank you very much. I forgot to go on DND. That is such a beautiful sale. First sale of the morning. And 20, 30, 40. Oh boy. And then where the device. Oh, okay. Thank God I didn't want to have to do math. All right. Now we can go on uh, DND. Wow. What a beautiful sale. I can't believe people buy stuff like that. It's crazy, but I guess it makes sense, right? It does It does make total sense. All right. So, um, yeah. So let's talk about our gear. So our weapon is lacking multi. Uh, I am desperately lacking multi on my build. Uh, and the reason I know this is my weapon doesn't have multi. My amulet doesn't have multi, and none of my jewels have multi. So, and I don't have Breath of Flames yet up here, or, uh, yeah, which is multi. All right, uh, moving on a little bit more. So, I have a minimum frenzy ring I got a while ago. I really like it. It's lacking resistances massively, but it's got a good life roll and a prefix open for increased damage. I got a really lucky helmet. So, I was, I was on an unlucky streak, just like usual. I was like 17 or 18 horrors deep. And then I think 19, 20, or 21 rolled along, and it just decided to skip conk, skip burn, hit both of them with the essence of horror. It even has a resistance roll. It's got a little bit of rarity, although I would prefer plus one gems. And it's got a life roll, so yeah, this helmet's done. I have to go lab enchant it, but I don't feel like doing lab. That's kind of kind of crazy. So just using right now fire trap, trap in mine, life tap combustion. Uh, amulet, still the same amulet from earlier into the campaign. I really want to get a dot multi and or a plus one base. Saffle's frame, very happy with the shield. Extremely good for Ellie res. Very good at bringing up our max res. Uh, pyre ring, realistically, I could easily replace this. I'm probably going to replace this with like a fractured ring, uh, fractured being the res, and then crafting with um, essence of delirium for dot multi to help fix my current missing stats. Um, my body armor is still the exact same thing. I actually need to use some Eldritch currency on it and fix the implicits because it'll be a lot stronger. Legacy of Fury we bought a while ago. I think it was around 2 Divine. Um, same thing with my Immortal Flesh. I'm missing like 100 life regen on the roll, so I could look for a better Immortal Flesh, but I'll probably leave it alone. And then my gloves are still the exact same as what they were, but I now have 19 Fire Multi on them when uh, a unique enemy is in your presence. Not amazing because rare mobs do still take some time, but it does help for... Pinnacle bosses and map bosses. And then inflict fire exposure. Applying minus 12 fire res is really good. All right. With that being said, let me go ahead and jump into this mineral pools map here. Right. I'm not going to just maim in 10 way right now. So this is also a uh, reduced AOE map. So the AOE will not look as big as it normally is. Now, normally, uh, the the spot that I am at right now, this is kind of where I would decide if I want to keep Unyielding, which is the Endurance Charge Ascendancy, or drop it for Unstoppable. Um, I am probably going to 
keep it for now and the only reason i think that i am gonna keep it is because i am mainly expedition farming and expedition greatly benefits at the moment from uh having the aoe on my infernal cry although technically i could just get ink aoe for my infernal cry and that would help as well so we'll see unstoppable would be pretty cool quality of life mainly because my chaos res at the moment is has dropped to 32 percent and if i switch to arakali i would get that 40 percent damage over time so four plus three four five six seven then put me to 72 percent chaos res only against damage over time but that is majority of what is annoying is the chaos damage over time and now we get to move faster which is also nice mention I hate this map. I don't know why I decided to run it. I think honestly I might just farm underground C this league. But I'm really curious about so there's a new divine card that drops and it drops off of Drops off of Mervale in her second form, to my knowledge. So that would be this map. This map, I know it drops off of for sure because I have killed the boss and gotten the new divine uh, divine card. Um, sucks I didn't get an expedition. But uh, I'm curious if Underground C is the same thing. I think Underground C is pretty good for expedition. And in general, I just like Underground C as a map. It's very dense. It doesn't have all these weird, like, I don't know what it's called. Weird crevices, I guess. What a nice beam you got. Thanks. Monstrous treasure craft received. Ooh. Yep, so that's pretty much the build right now. Um, so right now I'm still on an in-between swap where I need to drop my purity of elements, but I need to get better gear to do that. When I drop the purity of elements, the goal would be dropping this right here and taking these points and removing some fluff nodes like say uh this little life node right here um what else uh, i think there's like crit damage reduction i don't technically need um potentially these two nodes maybe this baby aura effect uh, i do not need the one percent fire per 20 strength uh, and then moving those points over here grabbing breath of flame taking cruel preparation uh, and then the rest of the points go into Heart of Flame. And that is basically the setup I use when I am Tempest Shield without Skitterbot. And then for Skitterbot, um, I do believe I have to come back and take this again. And then anoint Charisma to secure Skitterbot. But that's for a little bit later. I still need to actually trade or craft some gear. And uh, unfortunately, I, did, I don't feel like doing that. I just feel like they're on my face at monsters. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. So, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all tomorrow.